What is up, everybody? I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. I really mean that. I'm having an awesome day, again. It's the new norm, guys. I mean, stay positive, stay confident. Stay honest. So, I want to talk a little bit about what I learned today in treatment. And explain what... So, there's this phrase that my counselor put out. And it says, it's okay not to be okay. And at first, I didn't, I didn't like that phrase. And uh, the reason why is because, in a sense, you can take that as a as a negative thing for sure. Because people are gonna think. Oh, I'm not okay, so that's, it's okay. So they're gonna use that as an excuse. That's the way I was taking it. But then we had another lady, um, very knowledgeable, very good to have her in our session today. Um, good input. Um, just very good session. Um, and cool to have her input on the other sessions too. So, thank you. And, um, yeah, so that's, <clears throat> so I thought of it that way, okay, as in it kind of could be a negative way. And I, she opened up my eyes, explaining it a little bit differently, um, that, you know, it is okay not to be okay. It is, because a lot of you out there are not okay, but it, but you're okay, right? Um, th- so, you guys, there's... Remember, there's always your train of thought and there's also somebody else's train of thought. So always pay attention and take in what people say because your opinions are your opinions, but they might not always be true. Um, They're opinions for that reason. So make sure you guys hear both sides of the story or all the details you can before you make a, a judgment call or a definite answer on things in your life. It just, every day, I mean, I've known people have different opinions. I said it in another video, and not always right. Um, your opinions are not always right. So again today, there's another eye-opening experience that I've known this, but you just forget about it. You take it for granted, guys, because you always want to be right, you know? Um, but it is okay not to be okay. It, it is. Um... You guys take that how you will. Um, maybe think about that for yourself and see what you guys think about that for that phrase. Um, but at first, I, I really didn't. I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. I. But that was only my thoughts of thinking on how my thought process is, and I can see. And my counselor brought up. Well, that's it could be used as an excuse, and that's the way I was taking it. But it was, it's very nice to see other people's opinions and thoughts and different situations and how they react and how other people can react to different things. Um, it just opens up your eyes, guys. We're all different. We're all unique. And that's what makes us us. And I can't say it enough, guys. It is awesome to be you. It's awesome to be me. So if you need to take some steps to to be you fully, like I said, I've I've just started being me. 36 years and I've just started being me, guys. I've had a mask on my whole life, trying to please everybody else, trying to put other feelings in front of mine. Um, and I, st- I still am that type of person. I'm still trying to help, still trying to, I want other people to be happy, but I understand now that you cannot help anybody until you help yourself. You cannot help anybody in any of their situations if, if your situations in your life aren't right. So always be true to yourself, be authentic. Rigorous rigorous authenticity, do hard work, surrender the outcome. Which, okay, rigorous uh, authenticity, which would mean be authentic, be true to yourself, be 100 all the time. Always do what you say you're gonna do um, and follow through. That's being authentic. Um, 
do hard work. It's exactly what, what it says. That hard work could be mental hard work, it could be physical hard work, it could be emotional hard work. Whatever the situation is, it's hard work nonetheless. And then surrendering the outcome, that's, to me, is acceptance. And you have to be able to accept to be able to cope. So if you're not accepting of stuff and trying to cope with things, it's not going to work, you guys. You must be able to accept something before you can cope with it. Because if you're not accepting, I, so I'm say an example. I don't accept that the Minnesota Vikings suck this year. <laughs> but um, so an example, I don't accept that. Well, okay, that's not even a good example. Take that back because they suck. <laughs> um, you gotta take your own own examples and whatever. I've got a lot going on in my mind right now. I just just having a good day. I'm just I don't know, guys. All smiles. And I hope you guys have a, fun, a smile on your face as well. It looks good on you, so keep it. Um, and I, I won't stop saying this either, guys. If you guys know somebody in your life, a loved one, a friend, an associate, anybody that you know, that you think is maybe not acting right, um, sudden mood swings, just different from normal, it's okay to to ask if they're okay. But remember, if, if somebody's asking you if you're okay, that's also a sign that people are noticing something different about you. And knowing from my experience, mental health, you don't have a say in. You don't know. You all you don't, most people don't know they're having issues mentally. Other people will notice first. And if you get asked if you're okay or along something along those lines or if somebody's concerned about you, it might be a sign that they're noticing a change and they're can they're they're just worried about you and want to make sure you're doing well. Um, so always be on the lookout for the subtle signs that somebody might be crying out for help. I know me as a guy in the past before I got my head right before I started living my life um, as me. Just be honest with your feelings, about your feelings. Be open, honest, be accepting of what people tell you. If it's negative, don't always get mad. Negative criticism or constructive criticism, whatever you want to call it, is a positive, is positive. Because it'll, it'll show you what other people may think that you're doing wrong. It may open up your eyes on maybe some habits that you need to fix or change. Um, yeah, guys, I, I just, I just be on the lookout for the subtle signs that somebody might need help. And if you maybe realize that, hey, somebody, people have been asking me lately if I'm okay. Maybe, maybe there's something wrong with me. Maybe I do need to figure it out. Because they're not asking you for no reason, guys. Um, there's obviously a reason if somebody asks if you're okay or if you're doing well today or, you know, they might just notice there's something different about you. So if some if people start noticing something maybe different about how you're acting, sit back and just take it all in. Don't react so much as, I guess, don't be too quick to react because reacting too quick to stuff going to lead to confrontation, hurt feelings, and it just usually doesn't work too well, just reacting to something. Take it in first, play it out through your head, go over different scenarios, and then react to a situation, what it may be in your life. Um, yeah, guys, I, I kind of just more rambling, but... For the, I mean the best. And I know I'm not the best with my words, you guys. I'm aware of that. Um, and none of this is scripted, so you guys, you're gonna, have, you guys know that my videos are just whatever comes to my head. I say, um, and what I'm feeling that day, what I feel like I need to say, 
And that's really been one of my huge coping skills through this journey of mine. And I will continue because there's been a couple days that I didn't make a video and stuff started building up again. So I realized this is one of my major coping, short-term and long-term coping skills um, to deal with my addiction and my mental health issues. And, and it has been a lifesaver, guys. No, no shit. Not even kidding you. It has saved my life. Treatment, <clears throat> I believe, is a big part while I'm still here. I'm learning the stuff I've learned. So uh, I, I can say, guys, if anybody's out there struggling, if your addiction, any kind of addiction, whether it be any substance or gambling, I mean, any addiction, you guys, is an addiction. I strongly suggest if you're struggling with any addiction, whether it be a major addiction, whether it be just a weekend or a social addiction, you know, just, I cannot say enough how big of a difference if you're there for the right reasons, treatment will be, it will be the right thing for you. If you want change, and you truly want change for yourself, I suggest taking the steps to make that change. And it may, change isn't always good guys, but sometimes change is needed. You may not want to, it may hurt like hell, it may be devastating. But in the end, you guys, this is coming from my experience. Like I tell you, all my stuff I talk about is experience-based knowledge. And I use the experience-based knowledge because that's the only way I can explain. And that's really, really what it is. It's, it's all my experiences, all the stuff I went through in my life, all the knowledge I've retained. I'm just trying to help. If it opens up even somebody's eyes that say, hey, maybe, maybe my, you know, my friend I haven't seen for a while, and he usually responds to me right away, and he's just kind of not been responding, and kind of short-tempered when you do talk to him. Um, just to open up both people's eyes, maybe to say, hey, you know, maybe I do need to ask if they're okay before, before it's too late, guys, because you know as well as I do in this world, the suicide st statistics are unreal and just uncalled for. I've said in another video before, guys. If people would just be there at the time that that person is at the lowest point in their life and they're ready to give up and want to give up, they feel like there's nothing else in this world for them, that feeling right there is when somebody needs to be there for them, to get them through that hump. So that's all they need to do. I know this from experience, guys, because I got over my hump. Don't ask... I, and, and you may not feel like you can get over it, and I felt like I couldn't, and I... But I pushed on, guys. One more day. Hold on for one more day. It gets better, you guys. It gets better. But be there for one another. I can't tell you guys enough. Be there for one another. There's too much hate in this world. If we, we need to turn the society around, guys, from the hate to actually giving a fuck about people. Excuse my language, guys, but I'm. it, it irritates the hell out of me. And I know it irritates the hell out of all, a lot more people than just me. But we need to stand up them people and we need to tell them it's not okay to act like that I mean it's gonna take a hell of a lot to make a huge change in this world but one by one I'm making a change in individuals lives day by day I know I want to do a bigger scale than that in the long-term goal but my purpose is paying off it is making me so happy proud Guys, I just can't tell you all how, how happy it makes me feel to get the feedback and telling me that I've changed changed somebody's lives or made their life better for for telling my experiences. So, like I said, you guys, before my pain is your gain, my struggle is your could be your success. Um, and I truly believe that, and it's uh, it, it's true because it's it's showing um, from the comments from TikTok to comments on here on Facebook, or on YouTube, fuck Facebook, sorry, <laughs> I don't, fuck Facebook, too much drama on that shit, um, I know we're getting some followers and all guys got 18 now, which is, it's slow, and, and I know YouTube's kind of slow to get followers, and I expect that, um, but I'm going to continue to do this because it's for, that's one of my coping skills and that's what I need to do to keep me healthy, 
And I realize this. And I accept that. So, <clears throat> I appreciate you guys all watching. I appreciate it. I really do. Um, I know my stuff doesn't always make sense to some people, what I say. But I'm sure most of it does. Um, there's other ways to explain it to people. Um, other ways people take things, too, like I said earlier in this video. Um, so don't, I'm not always assuming that you guys are understanding what I'm saying. So if you just have a question or kind of want to know where I'm coming from on something, leave me a comment and I'll be glad to reach out and explain on how I, my thought process, thought process went on getting to that, getting that opinion I have. Um, like I said, negative feedback is awesome. Positive feedback is great too. Um, all, all feedback, whether negative or positive, is positive to me. And it should be to you too as well because somebody tells you something negative like you're doing something wrong you can change it and better yourself so it's a, it's a positive in the long run so don't get pissed off at people giving you negative feedback or negative comments and you'll always have haters in life guys you can't you can't change that this world is a love hate world you know that as well as I do people love you people love, love you or hate you it's the first impression people put off so always go through your day with the try to go through your day with a smile on your face be kind to one another I know it's not always the case. We all have our bad days. I've been fortunate enough that lately I've had no bad days because I've learned to accept. I've learned to cope. I've learned to take off my mask. I, I, being me, and being you is what's going to make you happy. So whatever that entails, guys, be you. You know you better than anybody else, and you need to be you. It is amazing. I, it's a new experience for me. Like I said, 36 years, I've always had a mask on. Just trying to help others wearing a mask so they don't have to go through their life without being their true self for more than half their life, probably, than I did. I mean, it was all for a reason. I know that because during those 35 years, 36 years of not being myself, I was more focused on other people's problems and getting them to feel better which it does feel good helping other people but you have to but then that makes yourself go down so you're taking all their stuff in and worrying about their problems rather than your own so you just push your feelings back 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 you know get buried and then so far you can only put so much you can only pack so much baggage right guys and everybody's got baggage it just depends how you pack it if you organize it and stack it real well in your in your suitcase, that luggage you get a lot more luggage in there, a lot more baggage. You know, a lot more baggage in your luggage. But if you're just throwing shit in there, you know, just throwing shit in there balled up, it's not gonna be a whole lot of room and you're gonna it's gonna overflow quick. So it's the way you pack your bags too, guys. Remember that. Not actual bags, but you know, your bags, your baggage badge, your baggage bags. <laughs> so well, guys, I'm going to make a phone call or a video call to Jen over in the UK. See how it's going over there today. And then um, I'll probably make a TikTok or two later. Um, again, thanks, guys, for following TikTok. And if you're just watching this, my YouTube channel, um, it's just, if you like it, subscribe. If you don't like it, it's your choice. I'm not going to... It's up to you guys. I mean... You guys who you are I'm, i am who i am so if you want to subscribe that's cool i appreciate everybody who subscribes um i've got 9,600 and a little a little bit over 9,600 followers on tiktok as of a little while ago you guys heard my video earlier this week <clears throat> that today is my goal date by the end of the day today i'm gonna have 10,000 by the end of the day i'm gonna have 10k followers on tiktok watch now that's confidence. You must have confidence in your life. Watch. I will. 10K by the end of the day. So watch for that, guys. Be positive. Be confident. You have to be 100%, 110% confident in yourself, guys. And be full of yourself. I'm not going to tell you guys again. Or I will tell you guys again, over and over again. If you're not full of yourself, something's wrong. Don't be conceited, conceited. It's, oh, it's good to be full of yourself, you know. It's good to be full of yourself. It shows confidence. It shows positivity. And whenever there's confidence, there's positivity that rolls off of confidence. Huge believer in 
that. You must be 110% confident in yourself, no matter what you're doing. Okay? So if, even if it's a negative thing that you're doing, be confident. I mean, I don't, I don't approve doing negative stuff, and obviously, because it's all about positivity, but always be confident in yourself no matter what you're doing, guys. It makes a huge difference. We're all different. We're all shaped differently. We're all some tall, some small, some some big, some small, tiny, some, you know, some grow outward, some grow, you know, some don't grow outward so much. There's all different types out here, guys. But no matter what type you are, rock that shit. Because you're you for a reason, and it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks about you. As long as you think 110% about yourself in a positive way, at the end of the day, it matters no fucking, it doesn't matter a fucking thing what other people think about you. As long as you think about yourself 110% confident in yourself, others will see that. Others see confidence. And it is a huge... When they see confidence, the whole demeanor changes about your first impression on people. So say I'm walking down the street and I come across this guy just walking with his head down, shoulders slumped. You know, just kind of, just kind of blah. Like, oh, you don't want to say hi or smile and they look up at you or wave. You know, you don't want to just kind of, oh, kind of put your head down and look the other way. But if you see somebody walking towards you, head up high, smiling, you know, just having a good old time, and you got more chances of saying hi or getting a reply back from them is really good because it's, it's inviting. Confidence is inviting. People want to be around confidence. People want to be around positivity. So I guess my thoughts are my whatever. <laughs> I forgot where I was going with that, guys. I just squirrel. <laughs> oh man. Um, just be confident in yourself, guys. I don't want to make it super. 22 minutes already. Jeez, guys. All right, that's long enough video. I don't even know what I blabbed about. See, I won't be able to watch it before I post. I'm gonna post it right now on my way to. I'm actually on my way from treatment. 45 minutes to get my truck. <clears throat> and then an hour or 45 minutes to work there. It's another long day, guys. Leave at 7. Won't be home till after 10, probably. 7 in the morning, I left. Won't be home till after 10 p.m. So, makes for a long day, guys. But, you know, I'm not complaining about it. I won't bitch about it. I mean, it's, it's a drive, yes. It's extra time that I could be spending other ways. But right now in my life, it's, it's what needs to be done. Um... So I can proceed in my life with all the skills necessary to proceed and to be the best me I can be. I have learned a shit ton of knowledge and retained a shit ton of knowledge. And I will continue to throughout my life. So I guess, guys, listen to what people are telling you. Because you never know what, what knowledge you're going to want to have in the future. You may think, oh, this person told me something stupid. It won't make sense to me. It won't pertain to me. But then, years down the road, in the future, you might come across a situation that you maybe wish you did listen to that. You know? So, this is my thoughts, guys. All right, I'm going to get off, okay, guys? You guys have a wonderful day. Um, you might check me out on TikTok at BrianHall85 um, if you want. That'd be cool. Um, and follow me if you want on TikTok. Um, and so, all right, guys, you know what to do next, right? Good vibes. Peace out. Subscribe if you want to. If not, that's cool too. Um, I'm just, this is for me mainly. But if it can help others like it is, that's my goal too as well. So, I appreciate it really from the bottom of my heart, guys, that you guys are doing. Um, leave me some feedback if you would, positive or negative, like I said. I really like, I enjoy seeing the feedback. I really want to know what honest opinions and honest thoughts of my videos, so keep watching, guys. This journey is just starting. This journey is just starting. It is. And it's going to be a hell of a journey. So. So you guys have a wonderful day, all right? Stay positive. Stay confident. Stay honest. Stay true to yourself, okay? All right, guys.